Yes, people, myself, TS, welcome back to another No Filter TS and just reviewing the um, Burnley game today. Um, not, not a good performance from the side. You know, we had a lot of the possession, um, but the way Burnley set up, um, you know, it didn't look like we was going to score out there. We could have played, we could have been playing till now. I'm recording this at 10 o'clock and we probably wouldn't have scored. Um, Lacazette did have, have a chance to score. And, you know, of recent, he's kind of reverted back to lack of threat. And um, the pressure's starting to mount on the manager here. You know, we've gone through now the whole calendar month of um, January without a win. You know, we had a good performance, but lost against City. Lost to Nottingham Forest in the FA Cup. Drew with Liverpool when we went down to 10 men. You know, then lost to Liverpool the other day out of the Carabao Cup. And now, you know, not beating Burnley. Um, the, the performance is wasn't great uh, and you can see certain players out there just look burnt out like man like Saka looks like he, he just needs a rest and um, truth be told I, I'm kind of at the stage now I feel like once Pepe is back from the AFCON you know he, he may need to start some games just to give um, Saka a rest you know players players of opposite teams they know what he's about they double up on him um, at times he's more or less getting kicked about and you could see at the end of the game today a lot of the players just look absolutely shattered you know they're they're off on a break now you know for a couple of weeks and um, the club have wasted time in the transfer window you know we all knew AFCON was happening from the summer um, we knew they were, the the likes of Partey and Oneni were going and they haven't been, been prepared for it there was a talk at the beginning about Wijnaldum this Arthur Mello guy etc whatever it is you need to do you need to be as a club, you need to be, you know, proactive and not reactive. Now, knowing the club, we've what is it, the twenty third day of the month. Knowing the club now, what they will do is they might not even get a midfielder now, and then by the time it's the tenth of February, like oh, you know, we should have the guys back. That, that that's not right at all. You know, I'm not saying that Maitland Niles comes into that midfield and does a better job, but even in general, just gives us a better um, options. You know, again today the bench, nothing on, nothing off the bench. You know, I see some people, you know, um, on certain, you know, channels, you know, criticizing, um, Eddie, and you know, let, let's be honest. Um, I think we all know that he's not of the level for Arsenal, and probably not of the level for, probably most top ten sides of in the Premier League. That 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 is the the reality of it, but. It's where this manager's man management of certain players have gone while we're in this position. You know, there was an offer from close to that 25 mil from nearly a year ago from West Ham, didn't want to sell him. They were trying to ask for, you know, 20 mil in the summer when he had one year left. Obviously, it didn't happen. Now he's going to leave on a free, and Arteta's talking about he wants to keep him. We don't want to be here. You know, these are the minutes where realistically Balogun should be coming off the bench. But because you, you know, Played him for the first game of the season and then basically just about gave him any minutes. You had to send him on loan. Um, and now you're you're in a proper predicament here. You know, we can't rely on Lacazette and Enkea until the end of the season. You know, I see people talking about, oh, yeah, we should bring Aubameyang back. And there's people criticising and saying, oh, no, but he's disciplined and stuff. And it's like, OK, he had a situation. We obviously don't know the full ins and outs of it, but like... What he can't be he can't be punished forever. What about Xhaka? Xhaka's cost Xhaka's cost Arsenal Football Club more times than a Bamyang. That's facts. And I know that majority of fans, you know, no matter if it's, you know, um eightieth minute, seventieth minute, eighty fifth minute, etc. If you want to bring an attacker off the bench to score a goal and your options are Bamyang and Eddie and Ketia, I'm sure at least 95% of people are saying you want to bring a Bamiang on. Yes, of recent he has been playing well, but you know I feel like if he gets that chance that Lacazette gets today, he, he most likely scores it. Then you know it's okay, we won, it weren't a great performance, but at least take the points. Now it just looks like the top four is, is more or less done. Um, and this all goes down to a, a lack of preparation. And there's talks about Arteta getting a new contract. And no offence, but it's kind of like a new contract for what? You won us the FA Cup. Well, not you as a manager. You won the FA Cup in 2020. You won the Community Shield in 2020. We're in 2022 now. You've been knocked out of the FA Cup, Carabao Cup, Europa League last season. We're not in Europe. We weren't in Europe to start of this season. And this month, in the space of three games, we've been knocked out of the only two competitions we could win. So, what are you offering a new contract for? Yeah, none of it makes sense. Just given my opinion, but. 
yeah, it's, you know, the pressure's on, on the club now, you know, are they going to actually sign anyone between now and the end of the window? And because we've got no games coming up, there's no need for even like things like press conferences and that. So only time will tell um, at the end of the window, I'll do a review on it, you know, whether or not we, we sign anyone, I'll still do a review on it. I see Arteta recently said, oh, you know, do, making deals in January is complicated. Well, it's not if you prepare for it in advance, but, you know, that's just my thoughts on it all. So, yeah, I'd be grateful to get your thoughts on it in the comment section um, below if you're listening on the YouTube. Obviously, if you're listening on the Spotify, let me know your thoughts um, on my Instagram um, at nofilterts underscore. And, yeah, man, I hope to catch you on the next one.